Good morning, brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ and Holy Mary. Wednesday of the 14th week in ordinary time. Reading of the book of Genesis. When hunger came to felt through the land of Egypt, and the people cried to the Pharaoh for bread, Pharaoh directed all the Egyptians to go to Joseph and to do whatever he told them. When the famine had spread throughout the land, Joseph opened all the cities that had grain and rationed it to the Egyptians. Since the famine had gripped the land of Egypt, in the fact all the world came to Joseph to obtain rations of grains, for famine had gripped the whole world. The sons of Israel were among those who came to procure rations. <clears throat> It was Joseph, as the governor of the country, who dispensed the rations to all the people. When Joseph's brothers came and kneeled down before him with the faces to the ground, he recognized them as soon as he saw them. But Joseph concealed his own identity from them and spoke sternly sternly to them. With that, he locked them up in the guardhouse for three days. On the third day, Joseph said to the, his brothers, Do this and you shall live, for I am go good faring man. If you had been honest, only one of your brothers needed to confine in prison, while the rest of you may go and take home provisions for your starving families. But you must come to me with your youngest brother. Your words will thus be verified and you will not die. To this they agree. To one another, however, they say, Alice, we are being punished because of our brother. We saw the anguish of his heart when he pleaded with us, yet we paid no heed. That is why the anguish has now come upon us. Rebuking Reuben broke in. <coughs> did, did, not, did I not tell you not to do wrong to the boy? But you would not listen. Now comes to wreck knocking for his blood <clears throat> the brother did not <clears throat> know of course that joseph understood that what they said see he spoke with them through an interpreter but turning away from them he would word of the Lord thanks be to God responsorial song Lord let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you give thanks to the Lord on the harp with ten string light chant his praises, sings to him a new song, pluck the strings skillfully with shutouts of gladness. Lord, 
let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. The Lord brings to naught the plans of nations. He foils the designs of peoples, but the plan of the Lord stands forever. The design of his heart through all generations. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. But see the eyes of the Lord are open those who fear him. Open those who hope for his kindness to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The kingdom of God is a hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus some his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The name of the 12 apostles are these. First, Simon, called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, and the son of Zebedek, and his brother John, Philip, and Bartholomew, Thomas, and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanian, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus do not go into pagan territory or enter into Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters. In today's readings, we found a classic in the first reading. A classic of the movies, a classic that we find on cartoons, and all oh, we know this story by heart pretty much. The story of Joseph, uh, Joseph and his brother of Israel. I can, so we'll know in my heart so I can do an interpretation and I can see that when God it's in Joseph's heart he was clean so he didn't he become with forgiveness for his brothers but he left them three days in jail and this is very significant because remember Jesus resurrected on the third day In my opinion, those three days for them was like the purgatory here in earth. And I am so glad that he did that because having that time make them realize the wrong they did to him. In our responsorial psalm, I can take my head down to a country that is really going through bad times, Venezuela. One time I said to close people, 
and now I, I'll make it uh, public here in this channel. We as a whole need to take care of our brothers, but also our church. And this is just me talking. If we do what needs to get done with the faith part, all can be back to normal. If we do what we need to do back with faith, everything go can go back to normal. First of all, to recognize our Father and He will take care of us. Why are you leaving your country when we have a God that created the entire universe and He can take care of us? Like the Psalm said, but we don't want to believe again and, and that, and it causes us a lot of pain. America, we can be next. What are we doing? Are we going to take God away from everything in our life? Or are we just going to say, oh, I can take care of myself. I don't need, I don't need that God. Believe me. When you start doing that in your life, everything goes in the wrong directions. So when we start going that way, especially now with this movement that is very getting very aggressive and you see it on, on commercials, on TV, you see it everywhere. Uh, you see it uh, when you go to Target or these big box stores that I were promoting on the last month, the LGBTY, whatever it is, the letters they use. And they're going very strong on this. And the direction of this, it's a direction that it can take us down, the downhill on the spiral. When we take God, when we take Jesus out of our life, that's a direction to everybody forget until they are on the on the bottom of the battle like we have on Venezuela's uh, brothers and sisters and that can be happen to us today's gospels I love this chapter because it's the beginning of our teacher our master our brothers career Jesus Christ look all these apostles are descendants from the Judaism and he gave them in a very strict order not to go to pagans lands or Samaritans I love this part because for those places he will send out Paul later I tell you, all become together in harmony. The Lord gives them power. Another part is very important. He share his power. And he is not a hunger maniac or a dictator. He do it with love. Drive unclean spirit out and cure disease and every illness, you know that kind of power the power from the heavens is now on earth by the owner of the universe our lord jesus christ good morning to all of you i will invite you again to subscribe to the channels if you haven't do it give us a like and share this with all your friends thank you again And I invite you to go uh, to the channel and we have an interview last night that you're going to like it. Thank you very much for your attention. May God bless you today and always. Amen.